Today I'm going to share how I utilize V-flats on location to create clean backgrounds, plus how I use them to craft beautiful lighting. Lindsay Adler here, and if you know my style, you know that I love clean, bold graphic imagery. And this carries through my work, whether I'm shooting portraits or beauty images or in the studio or on location. Now, it's likely that when you think of natural light, you probably try to keep it simple, right? Maybe you're shooting with the subject in shadow, like in the shade. Maybe you're just throwing in a little bit of a silver reflector. But I found recently an approach that kind of breaks the mold. It allows me to create striking imagery that also suits my style. I love to bring a V-flat on location with me because I can create clean portraiture that looks like my style, almost like it's in a studio setting, but I can use natural light. In fact, most often, I'm just using direct sunlight because I can create really captivating shadows on my subject. At first, you probably think that taking a V-flat on location is a bit of a hassle, but the V-flat world V-flats, they're portable, so they fold up, they can fit in a car, you can easily move them from place to place. I think they make my images stand out, so I find the effort more than worth it. So let's take a look at one shoot using V-flat world V-flats, but I'm going to use them in three different ways. And by the way, if you see a hat used in this shot, it was nothing more than a $15 hat that I picked up at a local department store. But the reason I chose it is I love the way that it creates shadows on the face. So let's take a look at my setups. Probably my favorite use of a V-flat on location is to make it be multi-purpose. It's both a high key background and a fill light. So let's take a look at this shot, for example. So I place the subject directly in the sunlight and the V-flat folded behind her with the white side facing towards me. And when the sunlight hit her and the flat behind, it made this glowing high key background. But then I also made sure that part of the V-flat was wrapping around to the side of her because when the sunlight hit that, it bounced off and it became this large glowing light source that was so flattering and it just filled in all the shadows on the face. So this one V-flat, it was a high key background and the filler main light. And by the way, when the subject is facing straight on towards camera, the bounce, it's a little bit more of a rim or side fill light, but if I turned her towards that sign, towards the reflective surface, it actually became more of the main light. Now, both of these are great, neither one's right or wrong, but know that your pose and the angle of the subject, it changes the look of the image. The first shot you saw here was high key, so now let's just do the opposite. We're going to flip the V-flat around, and I use the black side of the V-flat to get a more dramatic low key look. And because of the graphic nature of the shadows on her face, I decided to go with a high contrast black and white and to shoot at a crazy low angle to really exaggerate things. Now, because the black V-flat prevents the light from bouncing around, the shadows get a little bit darker, even more dramatic. So what I did is I actually added a small white reflector underneath the subject's torso, just to make sure the shadow under the chin and underneath the hat wasn't too dark. Lastly, I purposely manipulated a V-flat to create interesting and compositionally graphic shadows on my subject and the background. So basically here what I did is I took a V-flat behind her and I closed one part of the flat so the direct sunlight that was casting on her, it actually put a shadow on half of the subject. So half of the subject and half of the background were in shadow and then the other half was hit by the sun. The results for me, they're unexpected. They're visually compelling. And all of this is done with a careful use of a single V-flat. You can see how all of these images are still very bold and graphic and in my style. Using a V-flat as a background and as a light source has become a go-to for me on location. I love the results and all of the control it gives me. If you want to check out the gear used in this video, be sure to check out the links below or visit adorama.com. And by the way, I have a guide dedicated to creative natural light setups. And I use these V-flats throughout for really clean, natural, light, creative results. So be sure to check them out at learnwithlindsay.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.